What's up YouTube? How the heck are you guys doing? Welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a little bit all over the place. It's going to be pretty busy because we are leaving for vacation tomorrow and I need to finish packing. I need to figure out what camera gear I'm taking on my trip and we have a bunch of errands to run. Um, also, for some reason, over my vacation, I decided I want to heal a new tattoo. So last night, I decided I was going to tattoo this guy on my leg. It's in bandage right now, but once I take the bandage off, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's kind of in a tender spot, but it uh, doesn't hurt too bad right now. Um, but yeah, so beyond that, last night as I was tattooing, I was watching YouTube, or listening to YouTube, should I say, and saw that there was a new Black Magic Design product release. So you guys know, I've said it time and time again, I'm a Black Magic fanboy. And uh, even though I had a few negative things to say about their customer service, like I said a few videos back, that ended up being my fault. Um, but they released a new camera, and I'm gonna throw that on screen right now. It is the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2 for $2,000, which is an absolute steal. Um, and I think it's a must buy. I really want to get my hands on it. I want one so bad, but um, maybe in the near future, we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm gonna make a separate video about why I think that is a steal and why it is a must buy. So be looking for that in the coming days. Um, as well as Blackmagic has some super gnarly firmware updates for the whole entire pocket line of their cameras and uh, I need to make sure that I do that 7.9 update on my Cinema 4K uh, before I go on my trip because I may want to take this guy with me and uh, look how little that lens is. This is the SLR Magic 8mm f4. This is probably one of the widest micro four third lenses that you can get for your pocket 4k um, It's a powerhouse combo. It really makes this um, This setup really small and produce amazing results um, I think I have a video on the channel right here that you can watch using that combo But going on vacation like I said, can you hear this plane? It literally sounds like this guy is dive bombing right now. Going on vacation, I think we will get a lot of photography content out on this channel as well as some video stuff. And I am working hard on doing a lot of research for that short film video that I said I wanted to put out on this channel. It's not a narrative piece, it's a documentary piece. Doc documentary. Documentary. It's not a narrative piece, it's a documentary piece, but I'm super stoked about it. And uh, I think it's really going to tell a story that I want to tell. So more on that to come, just updating you guys. I am still working towards that. But I'm out of coffee. I gotta go refill this up. And we gotta get some of these errands done. So let's go do this so we can start this vacation right. All right, so why am I in the back seat? Um, one of the first things I gotta get done today is I need to get these floor mats out and power wash them. So, pro tip, if you have a kid, uh, get weatherized floor mats and a power washer or pressure washer, whatever you wanna call it. So, these are pretty dirty. Um, they're not terrible, but they're pretty dirty and I refuse to sit in a car for eight plus hours with dirty floor mats or make anybody else do that. So let's get these out of here and let's pressure wash them. I don't even know what got spilled back here. It's having a dog, having a kid. We gotta get these cleaned up.
think it's good. Now I just need to wipe everything down. Whew. Whew. Car's done. That was a long process. I cut a lot of it out, but now we can travel in comfort. I cannot stand having a dirty car. Um, also, Tawny just helped me take the bandage off my bat tattoo and I'll show you guys a couple of clips real quick of what it looks like but it's it's right here on this part of my leg as weird as this is so I don't wear a whole lot of shorts all the time and I usually wear long socks Tony makes fun of me all the time but uh once I get some of these weird gaps filled in here in the front um I may become a shorts person I don't know, but I would take just a picture of the tattoo, but the problem with taking a picture is the tattoo kind of wraps around the side and the back of my leg, and um, it's kind of hard to get a picture of it like that, so I'll just take a video. Here you go if you want to see what it looks like. So this is all of my luggage. Um, these are my clothes and this is my camera stuff. So we are going to Cleveland, Ohio. That's where Tawny has family. We're going up there to visit her family. We normally go up there once a year and um, you know we do all sorts of things. It's a big city. Cleveland is actually pretty rad in my book. Don't tell Tawny I said that. I try to give her a hard time about it every chance I can get. But uh, I actually like it up there. There's a whole lot of cool things to shoot. I decided I'm not gonna take the black magic up there. Um, I really, one, don't feel like taking pelican cases, and I don't feel like taking the black magic and kitting it out, and trying to shoot a cinematic narrative um, while I'm up there, because I really want to have a stress-free vlog photography trip and not really trying to bog myself down with trying to create uh, like I said, a cinematic narrative while I'm up there. I'm not a travel vlogger or a travel filmmaker. Um, I'm a narrative filmmaker and or like a documentary filmmaker. I'm not trying to, you know, go up there and just shoot the city for no reason. Uh, so, yes, so this is all my clothes in this one duffel bag. And the funny thing about it is I am taking less clothes so I can take more camera gear. Now I know I said that I'm not taking the black magic, but I'm still taking all my, you know, uh, smaller vlog equipment and, you know, my instant photography stuff. So taking all that stuff, the smaller stuff I'm taking, so I can still shoot everything I need to shoot for this channel, as well as the laptop and iPad and all that good stuff that I need to edit while I'm up there so I can release videos. But this video, the tattoo, the leg tattoo, I'm pretty proud of it. I think that that is the type of style that I'm wanting to tattoo in, which is called black work. It's like neo-traditional black work. It's just tattoo pieces that are uh, like a new school traditional, but heavy on black and gray. So, uh, so that's why the tattoo is mostly black. Um, that is sort of my style. It came out the way I wanted it to, and it feels like it's healing pretty good, you know? It doesn't feel like I did any damage to the skin or anything, so looks like I'm getting back into the swing of things like I know what I'm doing, so that's awesome. But as always, guys, stay rad, just go shoot, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. <laughs> Also, how about that 80s car cleaning montage? How sick was that? We need more 80s montages in this vlog. <laughs>